Welcome to another video all about RVs. I'm going to take a few minutes and walk you through the outside and inside of a brand new cruise light uh, travel trailer. This is the 271 RB. We'll take a few minutes, walk you around the outside and the inside. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice on this product is going to be the front end. It's nice and rounded and sloped back for better aerodynamics. Uh, has a power tongue jack on the front. Has two propane tanks underneath this bottle cover here. There's a place on the front for one or two batteries, depending on how many you want. There's lower diamond plate here to help protect it from dings. This unit also has the showstopper package on it, which also includes the uh, power stabilizer jacks. So you got power front and rear stabilizer jacks. You've got pass-through storage here across the front section. Button for the power front jack. This has a uh, Lippert LCI uh, power awning with an LED light strip. The LED light strip is located against the camper up there, so it can be turned on without the awning actually being out. Also, this version of the power awning has a uh, manual crank in and out up here in the corner. So you can actually remove the little rubber plug there and use a socket and ratchet and crank it in and out. You've got the radius top entry door and screen door, so it's less likely to damage the awning material if they hit each other. You've got a double entrance step here. Down below here, you've got your freshwater tank drain and overflow hose. You fill the freshwater tank right here. And you've got your water heater here, six gallon. You've got an electric outlet here. Furnace exhaust, stove uh, access panel for maintenance and condensation drain, got two outdoor speakers, got your stove uh, exhaust vent there. This has the optional outside kitchen here with the grill, little pull out uh, sink area here, and also a little drawer little refrigerator. The grill's on a swing arm so it swings around. Spare tire and You've got a dump station here for your black and gray tank. You've got cable and satellite hookups here as well too. Power cord pulls out here. If you uh, need to manually crank in your power jacks, there's a spot on the side here that actually does that. Basically stick the crank in there and you can manually crank them up if the power motor ever were to fail. Slide out system on this is electric. Right now they're currently using the Swintech electric slide system. Take a minute, walk you through the inside here. Got nice linoleum floor here. Heat ducts. Nice L-shaped countertop, high-rise faucet. Just inside the doorway here, you've got your slide buttons, awning buttons, light switches uh, for the ceiling lights and also the outside light. Water heater lights on gas right here, water pump, battery condition, fresh water, black water, gray water, modern panel, all right there. This unit has the ducted air conditioning system in it. Got your smoke detector over there. The sofa is a jackknife sofa, makes into a bed. Also the dinette table will make into a bed as well too. There is storage underneath of that uh, dinette as well. Got nice tall cabinetry in here. Got your uh, microwave. Hood range with light and fan, three burner stove top. Uh, this has the uh, storage compartment below the oven or stove there. 
There is an option for an oven if you want that. Ball bearing drawer guides. Remote control system for the jacks and awning and exterior light. And then it has a uh, DVD stereo system which has a remote control as well. Too. Refrigerator is gas and electric. This is the double door refrigerator. Basically fridge on bottom, freezer on top. Got your electric box here with your breakers and fuses. Uh, another drawer here as well too. Nice little pantry area. Got your digital thermostat with uh, fan controls, air conditioning, and furnace controls. Uh, if you turn your furnace on and your air fan runs, go back to fan and turn it to auto so it shuts off. That's a common mistake people make. Um, you've got your propane leak detector down here. You've got an electric outlet here next to the dinette as well. Back into the back door here, you've got the bathroom. Huge bathroom on this model. Got a foot flush toilet here. Shelving. Cabinetry. Got a fan. It's got a little rubber holder here for travel purposes. Doors roll back out of the way. Nice corner shower. Skylight up above. Got an actual little medicine cabinet here. It's a wood medicine cabinet, not a cheap plastic one. And you've got some storage down below as well, too. Nice deep storage here. Lots of storage in this bathroom area. It's got air conditioning and heat both ducted into the bathroom. Be surprised how many brands don't have that. We've got a little shoe nook down here below the entertainment area. Uh, some cabinetry here, your DVD stereo system, a uh, place to mount your flat screen. Uh, basically, you can also hook your uh, TV to the stereo, so it's DVD. Cable and TV antenna here. Booster for cable or for the uh, TV antenna. Satellite hookup here. So if you do satellite, you got to unhook it from the antenna slash cable and hook it to satellite. Power outlet here. Feed it through to the other side as well if you want to do a TV on that side. Uh, light switch for the bedroom here. You've got uh, wood sliding pocket doors here. Hanging closet on each side. Little overhead shelf up top as well too. Uh, again, air conditioning in here. Uh, also too, the bed raises up. There's storage under there as well. Electric outlet on each side of the bed. Emergency exit window. Uh, you've got metal mini blinds in the bedroom area here. And then in the uh, living room window here, they have the uh, little nightshades. Emergency exit window there as well too. And then this folds down and there's storage back in behind the sofa as well too. Again, this has been a video on the Cruise Light model. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. If you have any more questions, please give us a call. 1-888-417-8299. That's 1-888-417-8299.